Hey everybody, we are here at our friend Gary's today. Gary has a new roof going up and he had an existing system that we had to take off. So we're doing what's called an R&R, &R, a removal reinstall, and uh, Jake's finishing up this first side. But we got some questions submitted from Brad and Molly that we wanted to address common questions about people who are thinking about solar so we figured what better time than to talk about it than now um, some people are asking when the solar incentives go away well they call it the solar coaster because incentives and rebates kind of come and go and they change amounts right now in Oregon there's an energy trust of Oregon incentive if you're a PGE or Pacific Power customer then there's a state rebate program on top of that those are both upfront incentives that reduce the project cost that you are gonna pay. So those, those incentives are paid directly to your installation company. And then overriding all of that is a 26% federal tax credit. That tax credit does uh, reduce down to 22% if your system gets installed after December 31st of this year. So there is some impetus to get installed this year rather than next year. But with that said, 4% isn't a giant drop and you might even see installation costs drop next year. So if you don't get in in 2022, don't fret. 2023 is just around the corner. Um, the state rebate program is funded. There is a finite amount of funding. When that's gone, it's gone. And whether the state legislature re-ups that is anybody's guess. We don't have a crystal ball. I'd say this year is probably looking very good in terms of incentive packages when we compare it to the past. Next year should also be good. After that, things drop away as the federal tax credit is set to expire for residential systems. Um, so that's the scoop on the incentives right now.